Welcome to Black Onyx, where we hope to keep you better informed about investing. We're discussing the Reetway Global Leveraged Funds with Gareth Elston. Gareth, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into investing. So I've uh, been involved in financial services for uh, around 20 years now, uh, but uh, investments specifically for the past 13, got my start at one of the uh, large South African banks uh, running a proprietary fund uh, that they had in uh, the listed property space of about a billion rand. Uh, also involved with uh, private equity investments that they were doing internationally at the time, as well as launching what became one of the largest South African uh, listed property unit trusts as well. Um, so great experience uh, seeing the, the highs and, and lows of the market from when I started to uh, when I left there. Uh, easy years and then going gradually easing into the, uh, the financial crisis where I uh, got to deal with 2007-2008, also got to do some pretty exciting things around uh, doing the first, probably one of the first uh, shorts into the listed property sector at the time. Uh, and then, yeah, 2008 I moved to uh, Canada to uh, Toronto. I was there for, for seven years. I uh, arrived uh, a week before Lehman Brothers went uh, belly up, so it was certainly an interesting time to, uh, to be moving countries, but, uh, but a great experience. It just opened up uh, a lot of different opportunities and challenges, uh, which I did. Uh, while I was there, I did my MBA at the uh, University of Toronto, so that was a, a great experience uh, to do that. And uh, there, while I was there, I was also primarily doing listed property work, uh, a lot of um, it's, it's corporate finance, private equity, as well as portfolio construction and, uh, and research. I uh, returned to South Africa in 2015, I uh, came back to, to be with uh, family and I think there's still lots of great opportunities within the country uh, and joined an, a boutique alternative uh, manager then. I was there for two years where I managed their global uh, listed property fund uh, and later on also their local South African listed property fund too. Uh, unfortunately those funds were closed down uh, a year ago and I was then, uh, I became an independent South Side analyst covering uh, primarily South African equities as well as international, and uh, then joined Reetway in June of this year. So it's uh, been great. And, and here I'm primarily involved with managing our investments into the Eurasia uh, areas. Gareth, give us a bit of history on Reetway. So Reet, Reetway is uh, a focused boutique with a single-minded focus on global listed property. So we're quite unique in the market because we are the only uh, asset manager who purely looks at global listed property. Lots of competitors will have an offering within the space, but this is what we do and what we started off doing and still do and, and intend to continue doing. It's just having the single-minded focus on global uh, listed property. So our approach really is to find uh, companies within the, the international set that we look at that offer attractive growth prospects that are defensive, and over time will provide significant alpha to our investors going forward. Gareth, what is the Reetway philosophy? So our philosophy really is to find companies that are undervalued. We pretty much do everything from a very detailed fundamental research point of view. Uh, and we overlay that with a macro as well as a currency uh, overlay too. So it really comes down to the amount of work that we do in understanding the companies from the bottom up. Uh, so it's quite good having had a, a physical uh, property background as well as I think we're able to differentiate ourselves by really being able to research companies to a depth I think that, that can't really be matched in the industry and uh, from there choosing those who we believe is having the best potential to outperform uh, in the year. Uh, and then I think the other advantage that we also have is that, uh, you know, m myself and some of our colleagues will have had experience in actually living overseas, uh, visiting most of these properties, uh, dealing with a lot of the companies, the various uh, sector realities within these markets, I think, which give us uh, a bit of an advantage. But uh, our, our intrinsic philosophy really is, uh, is we look for, for growth at a reasonable price, and what really drives us is companies that are going to be growing on a most attractive basis, their cash flows as well as their net asset values going forward. And uh, we then look at those, we have a proprietary model that we will then um, upweight with various other factors that go into, uh, into accounting for how we uh, see the value of these companies come to what we view as a, a justified value for them going forward on a year and two year basis. And this will include everything from looking at their their financial structures, the quality of management, uh, the quality of earnings, whether they have economic moats around the, 
the property developments they have, their portfolios, what the growth looks like within each of those specific sectors uh, within the markets, uh, what the general market's view is of these sectors as well. So it's a very broad uh, approach we have. It, it takes a lot of time to come up with uh, the picks that we have, but we believe that is what uh, you know, investors uh, deserve and that's what we deliver.